What's up crew? Today we're going to be doing a top 10 list, first ever top 10 list on this channel. So it's going to be the top 10 favorite animals in North America. Let's go. So number one is obviously, obviously going to be the Western Hognose Snake, native to Western America and Southern Canada. They are a, they're actually mildly venomous, and my Western Hong Snake Salazar has been with me for five years. Today, August 30th, uh, he is a very mild-mannered Western Hong Snake, and there's not very many, they're not very mild-mannered, but they do get quite hissy sometimes, and you know what, maybe I'll do a care guide soon for one of these guys, and uh, they're just great animals all around. They, they're burrowers, they're pretty, they don't get too big. And I just love them to death. Number two is going to be the grizzly bear. These have always been one of my favorite animals in the entire world. And I've had the honor of seeing them a couple times when I went to Alaska. As seen in the Alaska Creature compilation that I made uh, last year. And uh, they're just an incredibly majestic creature that it's Honestly, it's a shame that there's so few left of them and that they, they have such a small range nowadays. They're pretty limited to the northwestern regions of America and especially like the interior western and northern regions of America. So quite the shame, but they're beautiful creatures and I hope everybody will one day get the chance to see them in their natural habitat. Number three is going to be the moose. Moose are an incredible creature that also are native to Alaska, the very interior interior of the western United States in Wyoming and Colorado, and a very limited population in Vermont, Maine, and eastern Canada. They are just another animal that when you see them, it's kind of astonishing at how big they are. So I hope again that everybody gets a chance to see one of them, not in a zoo, not in some sort of sanctuary. I'm not against sanctuaries, but the the real habitat of the moose because I feel like that's that's the goal of everything that I do right here is just to let everybody see animals where they're meant to be. Moving away from the mammals and the uh, the you know more heartfelt ones, number four is going to be the American toad. The American toad is a little bit strange to have as your number four favorite animal in North America. Not for me though. I love toads. Toads are one of my favorite animals to catch. Uh, the Gulf Coast toad, American toad, red spotted toad, western toad, Texas toad, Woodhouse's toad, they're all incredible. So I'm not just limiting myself to the American toad here. I'm just gonna say all toads, all frogs, I love them. But the American toad specifically, the most common, I think they're incredible. They have these beautiful, markings and striped on their back and some red bolt blotches and they were featured in my last i think my last two creature compilations so something go check those out and uh keep your eye out for some toads they're pretty common number five my favorite fish in north america is the brown trout the brown trout is very special to me because i love fly fishing but the brown trout is always kind of seen, for me at least, as kind of above the other trout. Uh, just because they kind of live with all the other trout, but they're just, just so, they look so much different. Because, you know, there's there's some par parallels between the cutthroat, the rainbow, and the brook trout. But for, with the brown trout, it looks so different, and they fight so hard when you catch them. And it's just, it's just such a relieving feeling when you get to catch one. Take a picture of it, and then get to release it, watch it swim away. Especially when it's a big one. Bonus fact, the brown trout is also the WRC crew profile picture on YouTube. Next up at number six is the golden eagle. Now, I think it's kind of in between the golden eagle and the bald eagle here, but I think the golden eagle is just a stunning, stunning bird. And, you know, the bald eagle is an incredible sign of patriotism and all that for America. But you know, they're they're not as cool as the golden eagle. I, I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying, okay? The golden eagle it gets much bigger. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, beautiful. And once again, 
if you ever get a chance to go into their range, which is also in Western America, I hope everybody gets a chance to see one of them. They're just incredible from up close. It's it's kind of astonishing at what a big bird they are. The Golden Eagle's wingspan can get up to seven and a half feet. Now, technically, that's not the biggest in America. Technically, the uh, condor is, but you know what? I still love the Golden Eagle and the Bald Eagle. You know what? I'm just going to group them together. Golden Eagle, Bald Eagle, number six. Number seven, we're going to have to go with the Painted Bunting. One of the coolest birds in North America has got to be the Painted Bunting. They're just incredible looking. You know, they've got blues, greens, reds, oranges. I've only seen one once in my entire life and that's that's and it, it is just stunning I saw it at the Trinity River Audubon Center in Dallas which is also incredible that I you know shout out to the Trinity River Audubon Center that is an incredible place so tons of animals there all the time and you know there's just something about the painted bunting that is just so different than other birds just the way it looks it looks like it should be in like the am the middle of the Amazon, but you know that's that's why I'm putting them on this list is because of how beautiful they are. So number seven, painted bunting. Number eight, another very very humble creature, the green anole. Now, green anoles are one of the most common things for me to see that in the Mediterranean gecko, but I'm not putting that those on this list just because they're invasive. But the, the, the green anole is just something, it's, it's been one of my just most fun things for me to catch ever since I was like five. You know, I always, I've always seen them and you know, they're just like, there's just something, they'll just always be close to my heart because you know, they're native, they live all around my house and they're just brilliant. They're brilliantly green and they're just such a joy to look at, you know, with that red dewlap, very cool animal. Coming in at number eight, gonna be the green and all. Yeah, no, nothing much else to say. Southeastern United States, beautiful. Number nine, a, the biggest reptile in all of North America, the American alligator at number eight. Uh, definitely the biggest reptile in all of North America. They are incredible. Uh, just another just majestic creature. It's They're so beautiful close up, you know, those brilliant greens browns blacks uh, And just they're just kind of terrifying honestly like the giant teeth they have I've never seen one that far up close. and I haven't seen one in a long time in the wild Last time I probably saw one was when I was about four years old and uh, they, I mean, all the memories I have of them just sitting in like the bayou at a uh, nature, like on a nature preserve, just down in Houston where my grandparents used to live. So always very, very cool when you get the opportunity to see an alligator uh, because they're just something so special uh, that live here. Uh, pretty exclusive to the southern, southeastern United States, once again, Florida, Texas, Louisiana, you know, all the kind of swampy areas. Uh, not to be confused with the American crocodile, which only has a range in Florida in North America. So number 10 on this list is kind of a weird one because it's the only one that I've never seen. Like, period. I've never seen these before with my own eyes. Not in the wild, not in a zoo, nothing. But I still love them very dearly. It is the red cheek salamander, also known as the Jordan salamander. Now, these salamanders are pretty few and far between. You know, they're, they're not technically endangered, but they're still pretty rare. And they, the, they live in the Appalachian Mountains, and they're just, I mean, just another just stunning animal, you know. Only salamander on this list, one of two amphibians, the only one I've never seen. You know, just, it's, they're just stunning creatures, you know. Br the brilliant red on the side, you're probably showing a picture of it right now. They're just adorable as well. Uh, I love them, and I hope that one day I'll be able to see one in the wild. Uh, and, you know, that's about it. So, I love them. Jordan salamander, red cheek salamander. There you go.
you know what that's going to be the video for today thanks for watching hope you learned something about these animals and uh hopefully i'll get to see the desert iguana along the snake and jordan salamander soon so yeah thanks for watching uh, see you next time